So let's paint. I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab this color. So I'm going to hold down the I, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, click, and let it go. And I'm going to pick, like, maybe this nub. And you can see all the different nubs, and you'll see a preview of what happens. And that's why as you change the way that you hold the stylus, you can see the actual brush moving. Command plus zooms you in. Command minus zooms you out. And the brackets next to the letter P make your brush bigger or smaller. We're going to do an underpainting first, and that's basically just establishing the shapes. And your layers may be a little different from mine, but I do not want you painting on the background copy. I want you painting on these different layers. Okay, so I'm going to just, I got sample all layers. I'm not going to go, I'm going to go moist heavy mix, and let's see. And I'm pulling, I'm pulling the paint. This is not intended to look like, again, photographic. This is just to set up the shape of things. You'll notice there's a little bit of lag time. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, that's, it, that's why I gave you guys files, because I'm like, if they bring in big old files, it is going to slow this down to a screeching halt. I'm not, I'm just kind of forming the ear. Like I'm painting kind of to shape an ear. But I'm not worried too much about it because I'm going to be able to go back. And if I don't like something, I can always use the eraser on one of these blank layers. Right. So um, let's sample this brown by holding down the eye. Get a small, uh, let's get a different brush. Oh yeah, that's a good brush. Make that a little bigger. And again, you can push, you can pull the ink, the paint. This is good stuff, right? Yeah. I'll quit my day job. Painting wiener dogs. Just wiener dogs, though. Dude, David Hockney's been doing it for years. And his wiener dogs, they're nothing to look at. I mean, they're okay. If David Hockney watches my YouTube channel, I'm sorry. For those of you guys don't know, he's like a super famous artist who I'm pretty yeah. sure subscribes to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Damn it. He does a lot of work on the iPad now. He does. He does. All right. Oh, yeah. We haven't even gotten to the iPad apps. So you guys are going to freak out when I show you all those. I'm just getting the basic shape. This is the shape of a wiener dog. All right, spreading the paint around, laying down some paint. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Dang it. Okay, so <laughs> because it's my demo and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show you how to, how to, if you are on the wrong layer, how to cheat a little bit. That's not cheating. Improvising. Improvising, that's the perfect word. Let's just get his little Notice the brush that when, when I move it or I push it harder, it really changes it. So that's what I've got so far. And then even with that, I can still push some paint around. I don't care if there's white spots. Like I'm more interested in you trying different brushes and things. So I did the details here. I could now change the details layer to underpainting too. And then at the top, have another detail. <laughs> there you go. And no one was hurt. Okay. Most painting will still go up there, so make sure that your hierarchy is okay. So once you do the underpainting, I like to turn that off, actually, and then go to the most painting. And that's when I zoom in a little bit, not maybe that pretty close up, make the brush a little smaller, sample my color a little more, Play around with these settings. If you want dry, if you just want to lay a color on, right, you can. Sometimes this is cool because what you can do is lay down this blue gray and then you can change it to wet heavy mix and start adding. 
color to that and pushing that paint around. So this layer is where you're gonna start to define some of the structure and the shapes. Think of it like this is a circle, this is an oval, this is a circleish oval, and everything, um, if any of you guys have taken any drawing classes, everything can be kind of broken down into its uh, geometry. I like to sample the, um, hold down the eye, sample the breath, sample the color, and start to bring in that dark color. And I'm pushing it up, pushing it up. If I wanted to mix more, I could go down to very wet heavy mix. Beautiful. It's good stuff. I've done, I've done, sometimes the demos don't always turn out great, which is always like, oh, but we'll see. Okay. And then what's cool is when you turn on this, you'll start to have this buildup of paint. So it's, you're going in, you're doing big shapes, just big shapes. They don't have to look good at all. And then you're going to go in and do most painting. I might do two or three most painting layers. It depends how you want to approach it. Um, you can do all sorts of different brushes. Let's grab another brush. Let's grab, oh, the, the fan brush. And you could make just like little, little marks with it. And if you're thinking, well, you know what, I would need some pink in here. You can double click on that, load up some pink. Yeah. And you can add. Oh, you know what you're going to have to do is go back up to add a little pink with the dry. Go down to very wet. Blend that pink right in. I don't know about you, but if I could dye my pet, and I know there's ways to do it, but I'd have to bleach him, and I just think that's decidedly unsafe. Um, yeah, poodles. I know that they've died, and they also like will carve in. I saw that they'll carve in like symbols into the hair. Um, so if you're like, that's a little, a little too much pink, you can also grab the eraser, and you can, if you don't want to take 100% of it out like that. If you're like, that's a little extreme. I just want to pull a little bit back, go to the eraser, and take the opacity of the eraser down, and make it super soft. And it just takes out a little. Okay? So I say just start painting, right? A couple things to think about. What does it look like when I turn these off? It's going to take you a while to get the hang of this, and things get muddy really quickly. But the beauty of this is they're just blank layers. Throw them away and make a new one, okay? Remember to save every once in a while, and then you have the handout just in case you forget what any of these are and how to utilize these properly, okay? But what I'm looking for is a really beautiful layer panel. Sound good? Okay.